Here we go. Here we go. We have Mrs. Septum Ring herself. <laughs> Out to any woman with a septum uh, nose ring piercing, I mean, just throw her out. Just throw her out. I, I don't think I've met one woman. I'm talking about of all races, mind you. I have not met one woman with a septum nose ring piercing. That's a good. Per <laughs> that's a good person, yo. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know too many. I don't know too many. Um, hopefully, homegirl from Miami that I met a week ago doesn't catch one of this. Anyway, um, back to her. Here she's go. Uh, we have uh this woman here. Um, she's going to brag about basically messing up her son's phone call conversation with his girlfriend, and basically br brag about messing up his relationship between the son and his girl uh her her son and his girlfriend and you can tell this is a this is a single mother you can already you can already tell this is a single mother and this is basically a glimpse of communita women in their uh, <laughs> particularly when they get older the delusion never leaves them once once they get older and the the sabotage the, the you know the, the the spirit of sabotage that they have within them so let's let's take a listen to how she showed quote unquote showed her son and <laughs> how she advised his girlfriend and it's going to give a glimpse of why a lot of particularly a lot of black women um poison poison basically they they mess up a lot of their son's relationships with women let's take a listen my son gonna get gonna get mad and storm after carly he on the phone fussing and his girlfriend ain't got a dollar in the bank i said girl you ain't got a lot of broke niggas be on the phone telling you what to do he didn't get at the cops and slam the door talking about, I can't tell my girlfriend what to do. Not when you broke, nigga. Girl, you ain't got to listen to no broke nigga telling you what to do. Hey, go ahead and hang up on him flat. It ain't even a uh, flip phone. I don't care. Flip it flat. Hey, I ain't got to listen to nothing that you say. I'm the one that's buying you a new shirt. Child, child, he done got mad at me and talk about why are you gotta say these things? Why I don't want to talk on the phone around you because you why would you say that to my girlfriend? She doesn't need to listen to me. She ain't gotta listen to no broke nigga. I don't care who I listen, my son or not. You ain't gotta listen to this nigga, ain't even got no money. Please, please, he asking you for stuff and then want to tell you what to do. I wish you would ask me for something and then you want to tell me what to do. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Queen Erin the first is her username. So you already know she's she cannot be up to any good <laughs> in her life. Basically, in her life, she cannot be up to any uh, good. So I did a little bit of research on her real quick during the video, because right there, this is a this is a live reading because I, I just saw this video right now. So this is her Instagram page. So she is a marriage and family therapist, traveling hairstylist. This is a prostitute, bro. <laughs> or, or a former pro this has got to be a, she is either a former pro or a current pro two things could be true she could be in and out of that that lifestyle but we're talking about first of all marriage and family therapist according to who and first of all traveling hairstylist so we are uh, sorry i see traveling hairstylist that's all i need to see right there but marriage and family therapist who is paying her for counsel wow <clears throat> but yeah <clears throat> if you are a woman and you're looking to her for counsel advice your, your marriage is gonna fail <laughs> oh lord i'm looking come rafting with us in jamaican yeah, she, yeah she's a well we already know she's a three or four it's, I, it's it's just a matter of is she getting paid for it <laughs> you know what i mean that's why when i say like when i say 304 is like yeah that's that's a given but are you getting paid for it let's let's see we, we shall see but yeah, any any person that goes, oh, I guess that's her son. I guess that's her son. I think I could be wrong. Let me see. Yeah, I think that might be her. And she's a Christian. Yeah, she she's definitely a former pro or a current pro. Two things can be true. Um, I think she still sells it from time to time. <laughs> like I said, if she has a uh, uh I call it the uh, if she has a uh, what's it a septum nose ring. A septum nose. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Let me look up something real quick. Septum nose ring. Yeah, if you if look, man, I call it the septum, the septum ring of justice. The, you know, the septum nose ring of justice. If you have <laughs> if 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 you're dealing with a woman that has that, you might as well throw the whole. I'm just I'm just telling you, you're just you're just inviting chaos, inviting chaos to your life. You're inviting a woman that probably 
uh, practices witchcraft. I don't care what kind of Bible verse she has on her thing. First of all, her name, her username is Queen something. So you already know. And then on top of that, you're, you're, you're inviting somebody that's really it's just negativity. You're talking about somebody that doesn't help the, the spirit of many men that have been through her and the spirit of the hatred of men. That's what you're inviting into your life. So let's take it this look at this video one more time and just analyze some of the points. Let's kind of speed through it, though. Let's even though she already talks fast, but I'm going to speed through it a little bit more. My son going to get mad at Storm after Carly. He on the phone busting and his girlfriend I ain't got a dollar in the bank. I said, girl, you ain't got a lot of broke niggas be on the phone telling you what to do. He didn't get at the con. Now, she looks, I think, late 30s. She looks late 30s, early 40s. So she's had like a girl like this. She's been in the streets since she was. I'm sorry to tell. I'm sorry to tell you th this, guys. A girl like a woman like this, she's been sexually active since she was ten. Don't. I'm, I'm just. I'm just. You. You might. You guys might. Probably even lower. And that's sad. But I'm telling you, women like that. Women like that. Hood bitches, raised a certain way in a, in, in a mentality. They've been in the streets since they were. 10 9 years old and i'm being kind with that number <laughs> i know i like say i'm being but I'm, I'm just telling you i'm giving you a rough estimate just off of her mentality how she talks this so we're talking about a hood bitch right that's raised a certain way that's born a certain place women like that get started very very early unfortunately whether it be through the streets voluntarily or <laughs> people be like voluntarily at eight or not i don't okay but i'm just telling you what <laughs> they've been in the streets at that age either by that or unfortunately you know she might have had a mother that had all these boyfriends coming through and you can't keep track of how many stepfathers or a step cousins came through. so you got that going on as well so when you're dealing with a woman like this she started really early whether through whether she wanted to or not that's all. And I'm going to just leave it at that. So I, I, hopefully people don't get sensitive about that. But that's the re reality. So she has a lot of sexual experience. So she's speaking from a place of dealing with many broken men, dealing with many bad men. Like she like if she had a good man, she would destroy him. And she's probably have ruined many good men that came to her. Or if the man wasn't say if. If the man wasn't perfect, obviously, but there would be no way that he could excel with her as his girl when you have somebody like that waiting for you at home. Or if he was waiting at home and she comes back from work, there's like no incentive for you as a man to get better as a man if you have that as a girl, as your as your woman. Slam the door. Talk about, I can't tell my girlfriend what to do. Not when you broke, nigga. Girl, you ain't got to listen to no broke nigga telling you what to do. All right, go ahead. Now. When she says that, she's not going to listen to anybody. So any man that doesn't give her the tingles, she's not going to listen to. And then when she was younger, she the only people that she would come close to being in obedience to. Not the athlete. Trust, trust me, it's not the athlete. It's not the musician. It's those, it was a criminal. <laughs> if she, The only time she came close to being obedient is when she was dating drug dealers. And when she was dating drug dealers and older men like that, she was probably like 13, 12, 11 years. <laughs> People be thinking I'm making this stuff up when I say it'll be. I'm telling you, man, 13, 14, 15 years old when she was dating drug dealers. That's the only time she'll be like, OK, I'm going to listen to you. Or, you know, when she got a little bit older, like say, like, you know, something like maybe, you know, um, when she got around the, the, the early 20s mark, you know what I mean? And. She probably had a decent job and then she tried to take care of a, a broke pookie. That's probably the only time that she quote unquote where she said, I tried it with a broke man and it didn't work. So she had she was probably taking care of pookies or she's taking well, first of all, she's taking care of many pookies. But then that was where she put her best effort and her best her her listening skills to best use is when she was dealing with pookies. And obviously that's not going to work most times. So that's kind of the experience. That's what she's that's what she's that energy. That's what she's putting on to her son and her son, her son's girlfriend. And that's why I say women usually sabotage each other because. It's it's they're they're not like women are just terrible friends to have because they'll just sabotage each other like this. Now, first of all, to listen to advice like that, she's the advice that she's giving 
her son's girlfriend is to be disrespectful. Even if she ends up breaking up with her son, she's going to carry on with that mentality is, oh, I can just be disrespectful and, <laughs> and it will just work out for me in life. Now, depending on where you are, that could literally land you. But that could literally put you in a, in a very dangerous situation, depending on where you live. And not only a dangerous situation, a very disadvantageous situation. If you're trying to, if you are a girl and you're trying to build with a man, if you're trying to, or even, even if you're just trying to build with a man, or if you're trying to deal with an established man already, that's not going to work long term. Do not be surprised if you get cheated on. Do not get surprised if you get ghosted and stuff like this. If you're carrying on with an attitude like that. I'm the one that's buying you a new shirt. Child, child, he done got mad at me and talking about why are you got to say these now. All this stuff talking about, oh, don't do you don't listen to him if you're a broke ninja. And then and then they will be shocked. Women will be shocked. Why don't men? Why don't men want to date women that makes more money than them? And you're just and you're yeah, <laughs> you're listening to this, and you're just like, cause you know, you already know that she's she has people in her ear, like literally, like you know, if you're if you're a man and you're and, and you're dating a girl, and Say, I'm talking about the best scenario ever. I'm talking about in a perfect scenario, which never happens, where you're dating a girl and she makes more money than you, but she really likes you and she's willing and, and she has no problem footing the bill, which is which is never true. But say even in a perfect scenario, she has no problem footing the bill and she and she likes you and you're chipping in as well. Or say if you're doing 50-50, you're paying half, she's paying half. You both have a job. You know. That if her girl, if her, if the, if your girl's girl, or her, her, her den of demons of friends find out that she's footing part of the bill and she comes back unhappy one day, they're going to be like, man, she's going to, they're going to be saying the same advice that she's saying. And this is why men want to, they, they don't even want to be put in that position where you have somebody like that disrespecting you because that can go bad. And this is why they, men don't even want to put themselves in a position where, okay. If she's making more money than me, we already know I'm going to have to deal with this kind of attitude because I'm not footing most of the bill that she does. She's not going to even try to listen to me, even though she's not going to listen to you anyways. But it's definitely going to be a guarantee that she's not going to have respect for you or listen to you if you're not if 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 you don't make more money than her. This is the mentality that you're going to deal with. And even if she doesn't have a problem with that, she's going to have girlfriends in her ear telling her the same advice that she's that this woman is saying right now. Why I don't want to talk on the phone around you because you why would you say it to my girlfriend? She doesn't need to listen to me. She ain't gotta listen to no broke nigga. I don't care who I, listen, my son. Nah, you ain't gotta listen to this nigga, ain't even got no money. Please, please, he asking you for stuff and he wanna tell you what to do. I wish you would ask me for something and he won't tell me what to do. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> ah, straggle daggles. <laughs> Straggles. Oh man. But like I said, like you will women will be shocked. Oh, they're just intimidated with a woman with more money. No, because we know we're gonna be dealing with this. And it's not going to be necessarily this outward disrespect because, like I said, the only difference between black women and other races is just tact. Black women have zero tact. <laughs> OK, so, OK, with black women, you're going to be dealing with that. But with other races of women, what, what happens is it's going to be the same thing. It's just you won't. It's going to be little things of disrespect that only only experienced people can detect. Like somebody like me, this is why like a, a, a like. I'll be with certain races of women and they'll be shocked when I pick up, pick up on the, 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 the little snipers, the, the little pew, pew, that they try to, I, I always pick, I always pick up on it. Maybe that's because I've been around a lot of races of women, but they'll, they'll do the exact same thing. They just won't do the out. They won't just, they just won't outwardly disrespect you like black women do. They'll, they're going to do it where they're, where they're stabbing you with a, it's like, it's death by a thousand cuts. So it's going to be little pew, here and there, little pew, stabs at your masculinity here and there. Pew, pew, so that it's it's those little <laughs> it, those those are the things that you're going to have to deal with. So it's going to be still the same type of disrespect, no matter the race of woman, mind you. But this is why men don't. It's not a matter of intimidation because you just know you can't be dealing with somebody disrespecting you like that. You just can't as a man, because first of all, we know if a man disrespects another man, we understand fisticuffs can occur. People can die. So you cannot be dealing with a woman. That is going to take advantage of your, um, how do I say, take advantage of your innate chivalry where you're not going to put your hands on a woman. So they just think they, they can just say whatever you want. You can't be dealing with somebody like that. <laughs> this is why, that's, first of all, that's why many men, they just avoid black women altogether. So even though it's still death by a thousand cuts, you just, you can't deal with that kind of outward disrespect. You just can't. This is, and if a man is willing to, oh, he needs to be able to put up with me. All right. That's a domestic violence. 
<laughs> thing waiting to happen. You know what I mean? So this is why men uh, avoid stuff like that. Now, like I said, I always say check the messenger. Sometimes you just got to do your background on the messenger. Queen Erin the first marriage and family therapist and a traveling hairstylist. This is a hoe. And not only a hoe, this is probably a former paid hoe. Probably had a bat. probably done, probably done some stripping in the past. She definitely did some, 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 some street. I'm talking about, this is a former, like real, like actual, like street worker. Like on the, on, when we talking about you, 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 know, <laughs> you drive your car up to certain parts and then you roll down your window and she asks <laughs> for the car. Yes. Yes. Like she's on that type of, she was, she, I could tell she used to be on that type of time. I, I can, I can, I can already tell. And she's a, a, a quote unquote, a qu Christian now. A, a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of former street workers that run to the refuge, to the church once they hit like their late thirties, you know, <laughs> early forties and then start telling people what to do and act all high and mighty. Yep. She, she definitely seems like the type. 